Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. Today, I want to talk a few minutes about restless legs syndrome. Restless legs syndrome is a neurological movement disorder that is often associated with a sleep disturbance. It is that characteristic unpleasant creeping discomfort these people experience is the most bothersome problem with restless leg syndrome. It's, a, it's an unpleasant creeping discomfort as perceived as arising deep within the legs and occasionally even in the arms. So symptoms tend to occur when the patients are relaxed. I mean when they work through the day and they go home and they lie down on their beds or sitting in their couches and uh, they start to have this uh, strong desire the, to move their legs. And uh, this problem becomes particularly troublesome at night because it causes sleep disturbance. So even if you do polysomnographic recording in these patients, you will see a periodic movements during sleep. So it is a neurologic movement disorder that is often associated with a sleep disturbance. So that irresistible urge to move their legs, that is the problem that interfere with the quality of their life. Like 2 to 15 percent of the population they experience the symptoms of restless leg syndrome. Yeah, the primary form has a genetic origin, whereas secondary causes, top of the list is iron deficiency. Many patients, if you treat their iron deficiency, get relief from restless leg syndrome. So that's very, very important point. One of the most common secondary causes of restless, restless leg syndrome is iron deficiency. The other problems include neurologic lesions, pregnancy, uremia, and uh, diabetic patients with neuropathy. So this is especially common among pregnant women. So you can expect some questions uh, about pregnant patients having restless leg syndrome. Now, symptoms sometimes resolve following correction of iron deficiency anemia, but you should also think about other pharmacological agents. The most commonly the pharmacologic treatment includes dopaminergic agents, that is the treatment of choice, dopaminergic therapy. Then you can also use opioids like uh, Vicodin or morphine to get relief from this problem. You can also use benzodiazepines like Ativan or uh, other uh, benzodiazepines like uh, Xanax and also anticonvulsants. So all of them have been proved to have some effect in restless leg syndrome. And when opiates are required those with long half-lives or low addictive potential should be used because opiates and benzodiazepines, they are the two most commonly abused drugs in the United States of America. So that's about restless leg syndrome. It's a neurologic movement disorder that is often associated with the sleep disturbance and uh, is commonly seen in pregnant women and people with iron deficiency anemia. Pharmacological treatment includes dopaminergic agents, opioids, benzodiazepines, and anticonvulsants. Thank you very much. God bless you.